Hey guys, welcome to the new video series of Data APIs. Hope you guys are doing well and staying safe. In this video series, we will cover various topics related to the data part of the APIs and do hands-on practice on them. Today's video is on the fundamental concepts of data APIs. So without further ado, let's start. We'll start with the definition of API. As we are, as I mentioned earlier, we are focused on the data. So we'll be talking uh, we're talking about the APIs from the perspective of data. API can be used in other aspects too, but our focus is on data or like how API used in the data engineering pipelines or the data, in, uh, data engineering aspects of the API. Uh, the basic definition of uh, API is that API is a set of program codes that enables the data transformation between your application or code and the external applications. Or in simple word, we can say that when a user requests or send data to a system via API or system responds back to the user or receive the data via API. So here API is just a piece of a code. Uh, you can imagine this API structure as a like client server architecture where the client is requesting or sending the data to the uh, server here. Uh, when I was talking about the client server architecture, the, in that situation, the API can be used in two ways. Like, I won't say use two ways, but like, there are like two possible situations or possible scenarios for them. Either you are hosting an API, in that case, uh, like if your application is hosting the API, that become a server and uh, the any application which is using it, uh, they will become client. And the other scenario is where we are using the API to pull or push the data uh, to its server. So for example, like Twitter, Twitter APIs are the best examples here. That, so in that situation, Twitter is hosting an API and we are using it. But uh, in, in your work environment, you might have to host an uh, API and the others will use it. And here the question comes like, why we wanna um, like uh, host an API in case, in, in some cases, like we don't want to open our databases to, uh, we don't want to open our databases to the uh, to the other users. So, or you can say like it's it's a way of uh, uh, controlled interface to your application instead of exposing your database, like you are doing through an API. Uh, so, if you look at the diagram, like it's a, it explain um, the API concept pretty well. So here you can see that like web server, which have its own database, but through API, the client application is requesting and we are getting a response from API too. So request is not just we requesting the data, we, in the request, we can send the data too. And same for the response, we can uh, like responses, like uh, the data is received successfully or like we can get, when we are requesting the data, we we get a response uh, of the data inside. And after that, like we can store uh, depending in like we can store it in our site on depending on our storage or like in our pipeline or whatever we want to do we can do with it there are various types of protocols uh, but in data generally or i have seen in my day-to-day -day work is like these are two main apis one is the rest and the soap apis and uh, rest stands for representational state transformation most of the time it's like the json data and SOAP is most of the time it's XML, but it's not limited to them. Uh, then we'll look into the methods. So there are like various methods uh, in uh, APIs, which we use to pull, uh, like a, to extract or to send the data. So there are four main types. So first one is the get the data, get basically then as the name suggests, is to gather the information. So for example, like you're pulling all the hierarchical information from uh, uh, let's assume it's um, like a HR uh, API. What is to to update pieces of the data? So like you might be updating the product pricing or product catalog or something like that. Post is to create something. So it's like you're creating a new data product report or like product category or like for example, like um, a new hierarchy is added, like you got a new manager. So that's there like a post methods can be used and delete method is to delete something. Um, example, as I mentioned, like you can delete your post or you can delete your tweets. Like all four you can think from Twitter perspective, like get is to get the list of, uh, let's say some specific hashtag, put is to uh, 
you want to like update your tweets in a certain way like let's say you tweet something today and you want to update you can use the put api and post as uh, you want to post new ap uh, tweets there and delete like you want to delete like uh, historical or some old uh, tweets and when like uh, when we are requesting the data or sending the data through these methods via api the media type is uh, another concept which uh, is plays an important role media type is also known as meme and it's it's basically the format of uh, uh, of the data which we requested or responded in the body and base some of the formats are mentioned here like application json is there it could be an image it could be a text xml these kind of things so that's all for this video this as i mentioned this is like a, to give you the uh, idea about the fundamental concepts of data apis i'm going to create a, um, more videos where we will do hands-on practice and create uh, apis uh, from both perspective where we'll like a, a host an API and we will also use um, some REST API like for example to pull the data from some uh, like a Twitter or some social media or something like that. So that's all for this video. Thank you. Stay tuned for the next video.